all right? Now let's do a little different. The circuit will look the same, but the numbers will be a little bit different. Let's change this to one volts. This is now a one volt source. And now instead of a uh, resistance that we've been talking about before, this will be 50 ohms. 50 ohms. So this is quite different. See, what we've done now is we've decreased the voltage, which means we've decreased the push, right? And at the same time, we've also increased the resistance. So both of those things combined together should dramatically decrease our current because now we have less of a push and we have more resistance in the way, more resistance getting in our way. So again, uh, V is equal to IR, we can use this version if we want. The voltage, we have to talk about something. Let's talk about this resistor here. Notice that the current is going to come this way because it's going round and round. Anytime we go through a resistor, there's going to be a voltage drop. This voltage drop is the same as the source because it's connected like this. That voltage is one volt. So we have to talk about a component when we, comply, when we apply Ohm's law like this. Is equal to I, we don't know what I is, but the resistance we know is 50 ohms. So we have volts and ohms, so the units are fine. So the current is one divided by 50. So the current, one divided by 50 is 0 0.02 amps. Now it's perfectly fine. Notice that, that we have a very, very tiny current now because we've decreased our voltage, our source, and at the same time we've increased our resistance quite a bit. So both of those things together drive our current down just like we talked about. Now notice that we have a very small current, much less than one amp. So now it might make sense to rewrite this in terms of milliamps, and that's exactly why I'm presenting this to you here. If you think about it for a second, this is going to be equal to 20 milliamps because milli means you shift the decimal point three places. So if you take 20, it's the same thing as like 20 times 10 to the minus 3 because of milli, milli ohms, milli amps is, is 10 to the minus 3. So if your decimal is here and you move it three places to the left, it'll be 1, 2, 3, and you get your 0 there, which is exactly here. Another way to think of it is if you're going to go from here to milliamps, you need to shift the decimal three places, 1, 2, 3, so it's going to be 20 milliamps. If you get confused on how to go quickly from milliamps to back to amps or kilo ohms back to ohms, or if that metric conversion is tough for you, go get the unit conversion tutor, uh, because the unit conversion tutor that I have just, just gives you lots of examples with dealing with the metric system. But this is just moving the decimal point by three spots.